Good morning, good morning. Magandang umaga po. Ito ang programang Bawal Ang Pikon. Get it straight with Daniel Rason. Nako, uh, yung naging interview natin noong nakaraan, eh, medyo nabitin tayo. At marami pa po tayong pwedeng mapag-usapan sa maraming mga bagay at mga impormasyon pwedeng maibahagi sa atin ng akin pong panauhin ngayon. Kaya talagang ito ang ating second round dahil gusto ko pong makuha yung kanyang wisdom with regard to different issues dito ho sa ating bayan. Let's welcome back to your program, former National Security Advisor General Jose Almonte. Sir, please. Good morning, sir. Good morning. And uh, welcome back, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Salamat thank po you, sa pagparito. Uh, Daniel, thank you. Uh, have a seat, sir. Salamat po. Sir, let's uh, get it straight. Yung ba mga politiko natin ngayon, mas marami pa ba sa kanilang matino o mas marami na sa kanila ang palagay ninyo ay eh, bulok? <laughs> I think uh, for the sake of everyone, let us assume that uh, they're trying their best. Well, trying their best is different from uh, are they really, di ba, parang uh, doing what is good for the country? Well, uh, I would put it this way that uh, their intent perhaps is to do good. Let's see the result and that is where we can judge mm -hmm. uh, 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 what kind of service they are discharging for the nation. In the past, meron hong mga naging guest ako dito after the Mama Sapano incident. Okay. And uh, they were like trying to tell me that uh, they are not going to pass this BBL and they are not going to ratify this if the, the M, uh, MILF will not surrender these people who were actually involved in the Mama Sapano uh, incident. At first, They were like uh, parang uh, antitigas nila na ano. Mm. Tapos right after uh, a while, nagtaka ako kung hindi ko malaman kung <laughs> what possible power could have twisted their minds. Yeah, so yeah. Suddenly, okay, wala nang bago-bago at uh, okay na sa kanila. Yung sinasabi nilang before ay gusto nilang, hindi, ganito, mm. dapat baguhin niya, baguhin, baguhin. Tapos bigla na lang ganon. Yeah, because the reference point is, uh, is uh, misplaced, if I might put it that way. Mm -hmm. And the press point natin dito is uh, the common good, the best for the nation, mm -hmm. rather than the politics. Yes. So, if that is the basis of their uh, of their orientation, of their inclination, then there is no really reason for them to change mm -hmm. insofar as this, their, their thinking is concerned. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, as uh, the way I uh, sense <coughs> from their arguments, <laughs> And uh, I think uh, they are in the right, uh, uh, a correct way of looking at it is in terms of two things. One, uh, ensuring that the whole uh, uh, proposal is constitutional. Mm -hmm. And the other one, it is ratified by the, by the people. Now, on the first one, of course, the debate is whether some says it is constitutional, others say it is unconstitutional. But that is an argument that later on will have to be settled by the Supreme Court. Mm -hmm. On the other one, on consultation, to me that is a problem. Because when it comes to issues that uh, refer to the future of the country, like issues pertaining to core values, our way of life, issues uh, pertaining to sovereignty, to territorial integrity, to the well-being of the people, These issues have to be ratified not merely by our constitutional framework, mm -hmm. but uh, by the consent of the entire nation. But this issue of BBL is being, uh, going to be ratified by just the people within the community, within that area mm -hmm. of the autonomous region. Now, uh, of course, they have... Uh, uh, you know, basis for arguing that way. But uh, overall, the impact of this uh, BBL uh, is for the entire country. So I think the entire nation should uh, be consulted uh, on it, But not there, just the people in the area. Yes, there were proposals before that instead of uh, pushing for the BBL, let's yes, just yes. Uh, amend the ARMM and improve it in such a way that it will actually fit in with what they wanted to happen there. In I think there is wisdom in that proposal. In mm. fact, uh, <coughs> lately, as you may have noted, 
there, uh, there is a thinking of an alternative uh, bill mm-hmm. uh, just to be able to answer all these uh, issues of uh, consultation, mm-hmm. of uh, ensuring that it is according to the sense of the Constitution, etc. But uh, I would uh, say, uh, Daniel, that insofar as uh, that initial thinking is concerned, uh, I think that is also viable. That's mm-hmm. good. If I may ask, sir, were you able to go through the version of Malacanang of this BBL? Uh, well, I went through it, you know, the, from the uh, framework to the CAP <coughs> to the proposed uh, BBL, etc., and the Peace Council uh, pro, uh, 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 recommendation. Mm-hmm. Do you agree that it should be passed uh, as it is, and there should no, there should nothing that. Uh, w- w- that we must change or amend to, to that proposal? I do not agree. Uh, okay. I agree basically in principle that we have to find out a way to settle this peacefully. That is, mm-hmm. uh, I mean, that is a given. Everybody agrees with that. Mm-hmm. But that uh, uh, it is uh, going to be settled according to the version of Malacanang, etc. I have my reservations especially in terms of uh, a provision there which really is very disturbing, Mm -hmm. the opt-in provision. Mm -hmm. Uh, You know, that is uh, an invention of whoever thought of that, Mm -hmm. of a permanent source for subversion of the entire nation. Mm -hmm. And I would like to put that on record. Why? Because... uh, there is, uh, they can always use that provision to always agitate for 10% of uh, any locality to opt in their, uh, their own uh, autonomous uh, area or whatever. So may I, you know, I have been there with them on this before, mm-hmm. <clears throat> and uh, with the MNLF, etc. There is no need if I'm telling my Muslim brothers and the negotiators. Mm-hmm. There is no need for this. All they have to do is with this autonomous region, which we have already in Mindanao, you, they can improve it if mm-hmm. they want, mm-hmm. or they can uh, make a new one, maybe a better one, if it is for so long as it is according to the Constitution, it is uh, approved by the people. There is no need for this op- improvision. All they need is to prove to the nation mm-hmm. that they can administer, manage that area according to the expectation of uh, the people, of all of us. Mm -hmm. Why? Because when that happens, whoever is leader in that area can become a candidate for the president of the Philippines, and he will become president. Mm -hmm. But the problem now is, what they are saying is, it's the whole thing or nothing. Oh, this is just negotiating position, Daniel, I think. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, I think... uh, I think they have realized that all these fighters know they are, uh, they'll not live permanently, you know. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, they'll grow old. But, uh, of course, if the nation, if the government is addressing the causes of this, remember mm-hmm. that the cause of this is not the MNLF. They are just the fighters. This just, uh, they are just the manifestation of a deeper problem. Mm-hmm. And the deeper problem is really the poverty of this country, not just... Uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, it's the whole country, including the in the Mindanao area, okay. which is among the poor. Uh, being a former national security advisor, what will happen? What do you think will happen if this BBL will not actually be put into law? Well, I, uh, as a matter of fact, I'm also wondering why it's called BBL, Bangsamoro. It's already a law when it's still a bill. <laughs> but, uh, well, uh, but, uh, it's just a proposal. Yeah, yeah. but, but what, what will happen? Uh, well, uh, the threat, of course, is there. That if it is not passed according to their understanding, which is started in Japan with the president, that uh, they'll continue to be a revolutionary group. And the implication is that there will be violence, etc. This is the threat. Mm-hmm. But we have been in that uh, through the years. Right, a long time already. So there is no, uh, there is no <coughs> way of threatening uh, a mm-hmm. victim mm-hmm. that is, uh, has been suffering it already. So mm-hmm. all of us know, because we're not the only ones suffering. The 
those making the threats are also suffering. Parang sanay na tayo doon. Oh, medyo sanay na, but we do not want <coughs> that because mm -hmm. we want the nation to prosper. Mm -hmm. We want everybody to have a, a life that uh, is uh, civilized, that is acceptable, that is respectable. Mm -hmm. This is what we want for everybody. Ah, I, I do not want to linger more on that BBL issue. Kaya ko po tinatanong sa inyo itong tungkol sa BBL. I think this mm -hmm. is quite relevant as well. Itong mga nangyayari sa loob ng ating bansa with our ano naman, uh, relationship with other countries. Okay. Especially itong position natin ngayon sa pakikipagbanggaan natin with uh, China. Okay. Uh, so, uh, papano po ninyo tinitignan ito Uh, kung hindi na re-resolve itong mga problema sa loob, uh, do you think na we are in a better position ngayon to deal with the conflicts naman sa ibang countries at especially ito ngayong ginagawa ng China na sinasabi ng marami ay pambubuli sa mga maliliit na bansa na kagaya natin? Before you answer that, we'll pause for a break. <coughs>